guys, welcome back to another episode of the Two Knuckle Heads. Uh, today, Jorah has another special I used to do. Well, I can tell you, today is kind of simple and easy. I don't know if it's easy, but eggs, butter, I mean, and some red color here. I don't know what it is. I'm sure you're going to tell us. So, guys, let's see what we're going to do, to do today with this eggs. Probably something the very popular, I don't know yet. So let's see, Gert, please come on, check it out. How Hi. you doing, Gert? I'm doing fine, Carlos. What we're gonna do today is because a lot of people ask me, you know, how to make omelets. Omelets, ah, omelette, omelette. Uh, omelette. Omelet. And let me tell you one thing, um, most people in the world don't even know how to make an omelette. Wait, it's, no, it's not don't. something you put in there. No, 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 no. First of all, uh, when I worked in France, and at, uh, at the visit about 20 years ago, uh, I got introduced to a friend of mine, a friend of friend of mine, to many uh, friends, <laughs> uh, to a great chef in Paris. His name is Jacques Cartner. Wow! In, uh, yes, I don't know who it is. Honey. He has three, he has three uh, restaurants which have three Michelin stars. He's one of the best in the world. And omelets are not as easy than people think. You wow. know, so many people they put the eggs in there and they go like this, right? Yeah. It's what, it's what you see to me. People always try to do that's things like... Not, that's not an omelette, that's a pancake. <laughs> okay. Omelette's supposed to be fluffy. Fluffy. And they're supposed to be done with a fork. So you go in there and you make sure that you constantly move your pan. You don't just um, leave it sitting there. Oh, okay. And it, it, has, it has to be fluffy and when you, when you uh, break the eggs, you have to whip them real good. So they get air in there. Ah, oh, okay. Not, That's why not, not that the, flappy, yeah, flappy, not the crappy, pomposo, and espanol, not the, yeah, and Yeah, not the crap you eat in all these restaurants. Okay. I have no idea what an omelette is, but then most people don't know how to cook anyway. So in your book, let's go up. Let's no, about that's not in the book. That's not in your book. No, no, because this one, uh, uh, a few people ask me, you know, uh -huh. what it is, how to make an omelette. So I'm going to try oh, okay. to do it the proper way. I'm already seeing that my cheese is melting to hell. Oh, that, that's okay, cheese. Yeah, yeah, because of the heat, you know. It's well, you know, we are, we are here in Granada, Nicaragua, so uh, it's hot. the heat is pretty much normal, normal right. temperature. What we're going to do with this omelette, we're going to add something to it, but I will tell you this later on. That's that, that red stuff here you were talking about, yeah. all right? And what it is, is actually ancho chili. So we're going to put that into the mixture, you know. Oh, so I, that's something different. Yeah, I've never tried it. But uh, one day when we get reopen, uh, what I think I'm going to do when we ever reopen the restaurant when these times are coming better, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be open Friday night and Saturday night and Sunday for brunch. Well, and I'm going to do a nice jazz brunch for Sunday, you know. Brunch, brunch is kind of the in the middle of the yeah, morning? Yeah, middle breakfast and things and you serve a lot of different egg dishes and see Friday and Saturday. Uh, we're going to do like some, uh, we have a standard menu which is going to be uh, Nicaraguan food. Nicaraguan food. We're going to upgrade this one and then every week on Friday, you know, times are getting better, you know, only open up the restaurant on Friday and Saturday. Ah, okay, perfect. Because Excellent. I'm too old to work six or seven days. <laughs> no, you don't. See, I, I no way. Well, guys, I don't want to interrupt more. I know the master's gonna do but something anyway, special. But anyway, so what we're gonna do, right yes. now, we're going to do the omelet, so. Okay, guys, let's see the master, and don't forget the to master. subscribe. He's the master. <laughs> okay, guys. Not really anymore. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the eggs. And what you do is this, you take this like this too, you know? You just take everything out of the eggs with your fingers. A normal omelette is three eggs. Now what we're gonna do, since I have a bigger frying pan, I'm going to use four of them. All right, here we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip it very good. Now some people say the only thing to whip the eggs is to use a spoon and no, a fork. But I do actually prefer a whip. It just gives it more air. Now some French chefs 
of the great culinary tradition are going to tell me he's already doing something wrong. But then again, you see how nice and airy that is? You have to whip it good. You see that nice air here? All right. Then the next thing is we're going to have we're going to have a frying pan, and we're going to add some butter. Now what I forgot, I'm going to put, since we are in Nicaragua, I'm going to put in some ancho chili paste. Now I don't think anybody ever cooked an omelette with ancho chili paste, but since we are living in Nicaragua, that's what we're gonna do. And you see how nice and red it looks? So you might see this in the first time in the history of omelettes, you're going to have a red omelette instead of a yellow omelette. So here the butter is melting. Then we put this in there. All right. Here we go. And then under constant mixing, with a fork. You see how airy this is getting? And then we go on to fill it with some Gouda cheese, melted Gouda cheese. And then we're gonna fold the omelette over. You see how this became quite a big omelette with only four eggs because of the fluffiness. You see, it is good. Then comes the tricky part. What you do is you take your plate, and then you move to make sure that the omelet doesn't stick. And then you move the omelet over like this. And here, you have the perfect shape of an omelet. So you put it in the middle of the plate. And since we are in Nicaragua, what we're going to do is, we're going to serve it with a little bit of Franchero sauce. Go, a little bit of panchero sauce. And we're going to garnish it with a little bit of parsley. And on top of the ranchero sauce, we're going to put just a touch of chopped jalapenos. You see? Now, when you touch this omelette, you will see how beautifully and how wonderfully light it is. So, here we go. This is the omelette. And I hope if some French chef watch me, they're not gonna complain about it. <laughs> but if they do, who cares? Anyway, I think it's Amazing. a great this is This is the omelette or the omelette which is, this is not very typical here in Nicaragua, so this is a different type. Well, that's the real thing. <laughs> How it's supposed to be. <laughs> well, it looks good. It looks really good. Look at, look at this guy. What you can do with simple eggs and some, you know, vegetable and butter. Yeah. 
you can try and fill them with all kinds of different things, breakfast. you know, absolutely. And you know, like omelets in Europe are eaten, uh, particularly in France and in, and in Germany too, omelets are eaten many, many times for lunch. Oh, okay. And you fill them with, you know, uh, fresh mushroom uh -huh. or with ham and cheese. Most famous omelets is probably the one which is simply with fresh ones. You know, I mean, dill or shop parsley, tarragon or something. Like Very that. light. Very light. Very light, and then people have to toast with it. Sometimes for lunch you might have. It's, it's, like, it's very fluffy. It's fluffy, you know. Uh, we, you know, we say this in Espanol, esponjadito. Si. Como and, 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 and the important part is that you whip the egg. Like. You see, you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> you remember when we did, you remember when we did, I totally forgot about this one. You remember when we did the, um, <laughs> Uh, the octopus? Yes. You see, I'm writing uh, my <laughs> memoirs right now, and uh, I was in Italy, uh, I was in northern Italy, and I saw this fisherman early in the morning, and I said, what the hell are they doing? And they had this octopus, right? Uh -huh. they, they came from the sea, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock, I like to get up early sometimes in towns like this, and you wander around and see what people do. Yeah. And there were these guys just having this octopus, right? No, no, and they were banging him and banging him and banging <laughs> them like on the, the, the concrete floor, which we did here because that's what you have to do. Otherwise, it's tough. Remember? Yes, it's about true. That we, we work with the hammer actually. Doing yeah, yeah, it. that's what you said when you said to whip it. Whip it. Okay. Yeah, you got to whip it. You, you know, otherwise, the air doesn't go underneath your legs. I see. That's, that's what you need, that, that texture. That's what makes the texture. See what I'm saying? Okay, well, guys, another episode of Two Knuckleheads here. And I hope you enjoyed uh, looking, Mr. Uh, you know, Gert cooking. This is, he's a real master. You can tell. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the <laughs> to the channel and see us in the next episode. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you never know what's gonna happen with this guy. So, so I don't, you know, between you and me and everybody, you know, out there, and, and, and if you watch my videos. I think I forgot most of the stuff. I, so now I have to do some thinking about you. How did you do this one? Well, that's well, what we feel. Well, you know, they call this, I think they call it, uh, one friend of mine in the United States said they call it the granny moment. The granny, the, the granny, granny moment. moment. Well, it. another granny moment today just gone. All right. So, so thanks for watching us. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, guys. Thank you. All right. Now. Here, guys. Welcome.